like subscribe and share to support the channel. Cops of Reddit, what is the most stupid criminal you have ever met? My dad is a cop, and I remember that he called me one night, and said that he wanted to tell me how glad he was that I'm not as stupid as the guy he arrested that night. An idiot high schooler, was caught stealing alcohol after his fake ID was rejected. His fake ID said he was born in 2001, three years younger than he actually was. Poor guy couldn't work out why his ID didn't work. My dad recommended that he pay better attention in math class. I knew a guy who got busted selling weed. He went to his hearing at the court, and went through the metal detector. With an Altoid tin, full of ecstasy pills in his pocket, it set off the metal detector, sheriff's deputies searched him, found the pills, and arrested him on the spot. Old roommate, was, it's, a cop. He came home to tell me an ATM was robbed, after hours, for $15,240. The next day, the man who robbed the ATM, deposited $15,240 into his personal account at the bank he robbed the night prior. We had an inmate that would constantly call Crime Stoppers on his contraband cell phone and try to get them to give him the reward if he confessed to his crimes. He did this several times a month. My ex stole a car and went to pick up his friend at the police station in the stolen car. He parked right in front of a cop, the cop ran the plates, and escorted him into the building. Next day, he was on the news as the most stupid criminal in town. Edit. A lot of people are asking me why I dated him. Well he never told me that. One day, I decided to google his name, and I found the article. Learn from me ladies and gentlemen, google your partner's name. You never know what they are hiding. And yes, best thing I did was break up with him. Mistakes were made. Every day, I see a big black SUV, with sheriff written on the side, parked in the driveway across the street. I don't know if the guy is the sheriff, or works for the sheriff, but one night I wake up to a dozen sirens outside. Turns out some idiot, tried breaking into sheriff dude's house, while he was home and his vehicle was right freaking there. My father is a police officer. He once told me a story of a call he went to for reports of a man and woman fighting in an apartment. Call came from neighbors for noise complaints concern. He was third shift, so this was at some point very late at night when all the crazy people are up and at him. When he arrived he could hear the yelling through the door. He knocked and let them know it was the police. There was immediate silence, and a man answered the door. Completely naked. The naked man didn't even give my dad a chance to speak, or ask questions. The first thing he said was, I don't have a knife behind my back. Well, he definitely did have a knife behind his back. And the naked woman he was with had drugs, which was what they were fighting over. They both got arrested that night. Tip, don't do illegal drugs, and if you do, don't answer the door for the cops. I'm a 911 dispatcher in Florida. Sometimes confused or drunk people knock on the wrong door or try to get into a house thinking it's theirs, but it isn't. It's an honest mistake. But the homeowner is rightfully very afraid, thinking they are about to be robbed or worse. Well I had this kid, must have been in his early 20s, and clearly stoned. Call me going absolutely crazy that someone is trying to kill him and take his property, and rape his girlfriend, blah blah blah. I send units code 3 to this guy, thinking it's a burglary in progress. Turns out the guy ordered a pizza, and forgot about it. Scared the delivery guy half to death. My mom's cousin was a bank robber. The time he got caught he went into a bank, scoped the place out, left to go back to his bike. This mf robbed banks on a effin bike, he put the mask on, Robbed the bank. Police see the tape. See that bank robber was wearing same exact clothes as guy who left less than a minute before. And that was that. Edit. By bike I mean bicycle. Took a vehicle burglary report. Where the victim found a driver's license. Sitting on her driver's seat. That the suspect must have left behind. Seems damning. But if he had any criminal smarts. He would just say his license was stolen. 
and the thief must have dropped it, while breaking into this new victim's vehicle. Without any other evidence, the case would have gone nowhere. The next day I take a report, at a church that was a couple of blocks away from the vehicle burglary. This guy stole the video cameras from the building. He must have thought the footage came with the camera, because when we checked the video, there was a high def close up of the suspect's face, as he removed the camera. Good evidence, sure, but I still didn't know who the guy was. Until I looked at the license I collected the day prior, and saw it was the same exact guy. Can't go into too much detail, big kid, 14, shot another kid, 15, in the leg after a fight in their apartment complex. The victim is able to describe the gun the shooter used in detail. We get shooter's name from another kid who knows him from school. My partner looks up his Instagram. And would you believe it, there, he is posing with a gun described to us exactly. Social media is a treasure trove of wannabe gangsters incriminating themselves. Edit. Fixed my drunk ass words. Not a cop, but I've got a story. I already posted it to our stories about Kevin, so if you've seen it before, that's where. A little over a month ago, my apartment was broken into, whilst my boyfriend was still inside. He works nights, so at midday he's still fast asleep, and didn't notice this guy come in and rummage around, until he throws the bedroom door open, panics at seeing my BF, and runs off. My boyfriend looks around the apartment, and find that the laptops tablets, etc. are still there, and he must have run off before getting to all that. But a handful of smaller valuables such as USBs, keys, wallets, were gone. He also did a fair amount of damage rummaging around and spray painting our walls. Also, ate our biscuits. What was there, however, were the idiot's bags. He'd left his school rucksack containing some schoolwork, some of our possessions, his ID some years old school papers with his parents phone numbers on it, etc. So already he's an idiot, we know who he is. The police are having a laugh with us a little later about it, and as one of them takes my boyfriend's statement, we hear a knock at the door. I go to answer it as a friend said he was coming over anyway, and I find the same guy from the ID, outside my door. He looks at me, then at the police officer behind me, still holding the bags, and asks. Can I have my bags back please? After a stunned moment, he's grabbed by the police officer, and my boyfriend confirms that this is the guy. He's arrested on the spot. The police said it was the dumbest thing they'd ever seen, like something out of a sitcom. It made local news. Went to a job of two males attempting to break into a car. Job description said they had been at it for at least an hour. Got there, and the car was theirs. They had apparently locked themselves out. Checks confirmed it did belong to one of the person's mum. On their person was stolen mail and heaps of phones, and new stuffing boxes in the car, so they got arrested for theft anyway. Ended up that the driver's door they had been trying to break into, was the only locked door out of the four. Was unlocked everywhere else, the whole time they were there. Edit. Mail turned out to be junk mail, and a wedding invitation. Teen gets fired from Red Lobster, returns to rob same restaurant that night. They refuse to give him money from register, so he grabs charity coin box, muscular dystrophy or similar, and then he leaves on bicycle. I go to find him, and see coins scattered about, follow trail off same, which leads me to him hiding in bushes at a church. Bicycle was leaning up against the bush he was in. Edit. Just to clarify because of comments below, I was the police officer that arrested him, not a Red Lobster employee. From the local newspaper. Two young men in a pickup truck, on a back road, stopped a courting Amish couple in a buggy, and told the couple to give them all of their money. Spoiler, the Amish don't generally have money. They do have good memories though, and told the cops the license plate number. The inept criminals were locals too and should have known better than to try and rob the Amish. Not a cop myself, but about 10 years ago, I got held up and robbed by a group of 3 guys, with knives. All they wanted was the money in my wallet, so me being the smart guy not wanting to mess with knives, just obliged. At the end of the ordeal, 
He put the knife to my throat and said, if you ever tell the cops my name is redacted, I will slice your throat right now. So I went home, called the cops, told them where it happened, and gave them the name the guy told me. The name instantly rung a bell with them, since the guy had come into contact with the police in the past. Cops went to the spot where I was robbed, and they were laying in ambush for a new guy to appear. They could instantly identify the guy, he was arrested and that's about it. Happened in the Netherlands, don't know his sentence or anything, 